The, the federal government in the Office of Personnel Management has published uh, consecutively for years up until 2008 a study of amount of time that was spent by union employees uh, on official time. The last time this was published was in 2008, and it showed that federal government union employees uh, spent oh, uh, three million hours of official time to engage in union-related activities. This was a cost to the federal taxpayers of about $120 million in 2008. Unfortunately, upon repeated requests by um, many, several congressmen and, and uh, the Competitive Enterprises Institute under this president, we've not received a response from that. In your respective states, and I'll start with you, Governor Walker, do you keep track of any official business or, or union business done on official time? Yeah, I wouldn't have the numbers off the top of my head, but I know uh, both at the state level and we see the same thing at the local level. We certainly saw that when I was the Milwaukee County Executive. And it's an interesting cycle because taxpayers in many cases are paying taxpayers money, which not only goes to workers, but in many cases then goes to government employ employee unions who then use that money for political purposes, who then elect candidates, who then advocate for more government and higher taxes on the middle class. It's a vicious circle.